I did it again. I did it again. I failed my driving test again. <sighs> Hello everyone. Time for another one of those videos. Yesterday, I failed my driving test again for the second time. So, once again, it was a nice sunny day. For some reason, I'm really lucky with the weather. I've never had to drive in the rain. So I was like, okay, this is a good sign. Today's gonna be the day. I'm not gonna let nerves get the better of me today. So I tried to zone out and not even think about the fact that my test was in an hour and I had my driving lesson beforehand and it went fine. But then I got to the driving test and this time there was like loads of people there. I kind of didn't want to speak to my driving instructor with everyone else listening. So we all just sat in dead silence, which was very awkward and it just made me even more nervous. A few minutes later, the driving examiners came out. I was the first one to be called and it was this man, this old man, probably in his late 60s. And I took him out to the car, I did all the questions perfectly. He gave me like the easiest questions. But the examiner spoke really, really, really quietly. Like he was whispering, like he was like, um, can you tell me how to adjust the hood restraints on the back of the car? Like ASMR type voice, you know what I mean? And we started off, we drove away, we started driving around. We did like the most difficult route there is, I would say. I've done quite a few of the routes and this one is my least favorite to do. And as soon as I realized what route we were on, I was like, oh, great, I'm gonna fail. And at one point there's this really, really steep hill. It's like vertical, I'm not even joking. And there's a stop line at the top. So you have to stop at the end of the hill and then do a hill start. When I've done this in practice, I've always never been able to get the handbrake off. So I was driving up to it and I was like, this is the end. This this is where my money leaves me, what a waste of my life. I wasn't singing that out loud, I was singing that in my head. Anyway, I stopped at the line, put on the handbrake, and I was like, okay, here we go, now it's time to fail. Did I fail that part? No, I didn't, I did that perfectly. And I was like, this is a sign, everything's gonna go well. And then we moved along, we got to the manoeuvre point of the test. There's four manoeuvres. My favourite manoeuvre is probably a turn in the road, or otherwise known as a three point turn. My least favourite manoeuvre, hands down, is a parallel park. Guess which manoeuvre I got? Yeah, that's right, I got a parallel park. Now, I'm always hit and miss with a parallel park. Not literally, yet. <laughs> Touch wood. Oh, there's no wood. Oh yeah, my floor. So when he said do a parallel park, I was like, okay, I didn't fail the hill start, but I'm definitely gonna fail this part. I pulled up against the car, I started the maneuver, doing all my observations, checking all behind me, and then I started turning. I was like, this is it, this is where it all goes wrong. But did it go wrong? No, it didn't. I did the parallel park perfectly, and I was like, what is going on? This is the best day of my life. And then we had to do some roundabouts, like narrow roads, wide roads, fast roads, whatever. All went perfectly. I looked at the time and I realised that we were on our way back to the test centre and I was like, oh my god, I've done it. And then I was like, do not mess up now, Amy. You have like five minutes of your test left. Do not mess up. So I was driving along a little bit more and then he gave me the instructions because they give you instructions that you've got to remember. So he was like, at the roundabout, turn left. At the traffic lights, turn right. And at the next traffic lights, turn left. Got past the roundabout all right. Then I got to the traffic lights. Now, these traffic lights are on a sort of hill, so you can actually see to the other side and it's a very wide junction. The road you're going onto has about four lanes and it was really busy at the time so I couldn't actually see the lane I was going into because it was blocked by cars. And to me, this junction looked like a three lane junction. But was it a three lane junction? Oh no it wasn't. The junction was actually a crossroads. And I was doing a right hand turn at a crossroads and I didn't even realise it. <sighs> this is where it all goes wrong. So, the lights went green and I started moving forward as the traffic was starting to clear. And I got halfway across the junction and I was going onto my side of the road. And I was about to do my turn into the right. And suddenly the cars cleared and the worst picture ever suddenly appeared before me and that was cars driving straight towards me and I was like oh my god I'm going to die and the examiner then slammed on the brakes and I could literally see the test centre in front of me I'm not even joking 
I'm such an idiot. So basically what happened was I had to turn right at a junction. To me it looked like a three lane junction which means that you have no one to give way to so you don't have to look out for anybody. But it was actually a crossroads and I didn't realise until it was too late. I ended up getting one major and only two minors, one being a mirror check and one being slightly wide on a par my parallel park. I don't know whether it was just one of those things that can't be avoided, like if you know the area you probably would have been fine but because my city that I live in doesn't have a driving test centre I have to do my driving test in Bristol which if you don't know Bristol it's quite a big big city and there's a lot of confusing roads and junctions and massive roundabouts so and I'm not used to that, I live in a town where the roads are really really narrow so and there's loads of hills so I'm used to hills and narrow streets, I can do them fine but as soon as junctions like that come along I freeze and I don't really know what to do so it was nobody's fault but my own this time and the examiner was really nice, he seemed really gutted that I'd failed but that's life so yeah, I've booked my next test and I'm sure I'll be sat here again saying oh, I failed again. I'm basically like Spongebob, you know, I'm never gonna pass my test, I really don't think. My poor car sat out there waiting like somebody drive me, but uh, he's, he's gonna be waiting a little bit longer because I think this is gonna take a while. But fingers crossed, I'll get there one day and if anybody else is struggling to pass, don't give up. Think of all the money you've paid out for all those lessons, you don't want to go put that to waste. It'll be worth it in the end, no matter how long it takes. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, by the way, this is my 100th video. I probably should have chosen a much more exciting and happy video than I just failed my driving test again. But yeah, this is my 100th video. So thank you for all sticking with me through 100 videos. I know it was probably quite hard for you guys, but uh, we made it. <laughs> I can't believe I've made 100 videos. I've sat in front of this camera 100 times. I've edited 100 videos. God knows how many hours that's taken me. But yeah, thank you guys for staying with me for 100 videos and here's to 100 more. Whoa, whoa. And hopefully in 100 videos time, I would have passed my driving test by then. <laughs> Also, sorry that my videos have been really not scheduled recently. I've been really busy and just like, <laughs> there's been loads of stuff going on. Hopefully next week I'm going to be back to normal posting two videos. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know how many driving tests you took. That's all for today. I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I will be back. I'll be back to normal next week, I promise. Bye. But my number one TV show growing up was That's So Raven. I would still watch That's So Raven now if it was on my TV because it was hilarious. And all my life I just wanted to be psychic so I could do the face. You know? Yeah! Yep, that's me!